Hi, Max. Welcome back to this week's Southern Spotlight. Today I have with me Peter Edgar. Hey, everyone. Peter, do you want to touch on a little bit of your role within SGA? Sure. So um, I am the chair of the Student Accountability Board. And basically what that means, well, of course, you know that you appointed me at the end of last school year, the beginning of this school year. Um, so that's an appointed position that's at your discretion. And basically what I do is I chair and I moderate the Student Accountability Board, which is a group of students who apply into that position. Um, and those applications actually open after SGA exec um, elections happen so that we don't really have overlap there and there's not conflicts of interest. Um, and what the Student Accountability Board does is it has a number of different roles that it can take on. Right now we're working through bylaw revisions and so we look over the laws that SGA has set over itself as well as the Constitution and just make sure that those are fair and equitable and just and um, we make the corrections as we need to with that and then we submit those back to the legislature. Um, the school legislature. <laughs> uh, but then also what we do is um, we see student cases that go through the accountability process. So if you were to go through um, and you say, I would rather not meet with a pro staff member, I'd rather meet with the student accountability board, that's a right that you have that you can appeal to that board. Um, and basically what that means is you'd be coming to us at some sort of meeting. We have a hearing um, usually about once a month uh, and we could probably up that if we needed to. Um, where we see students who are going through the accountability process, we kind of go through that and say this is confidential, we're going to deal with all of that, and then we're going to see, find responsibility, not responsibility, right. and work through that with you. And right. I think that's really a great way to get students um, involved in that process and in, in yeah. building a community of accountability. Because right. um, that's yeah. really important to a college community, yes. I think. Yes. Um, one of the other things we do is we can actually see student organizations as well. And so if a student were to file a grievance form on Engage or something like that about something in elections or something in SGA or something in the president circle where right. this organization is yes. doing something that's outside yeah. the bylaws, yeah. um, that's something that we could see as a group as well. And because we're, we have that experience working with the bylaws, we know what these rules are and we can make those decisions, um, which is a really cool engaging way to get yeah. students involved in that process. Yeah, kind of have that discretion. Mm -hmm. um, how can students bring issues to SAB directly? Mm -hmm. So um, we work, so it's like the SAB and then it's me and then it's Maggie Maraday and Amanda Blount um, in accountability. And so I would really say go to those two or do the submitting a grievance form on those sorts of things mm -hmm. um, and, and work through that department because we're really kind of right. under them as yeah. much as we are under SGA as well. Right. right, absolutely. And what would you say is your favorite aspect of student government? Um, I love that we have this kind of system of accountability and in a lot of the larger schools, um, me being on the Southern and working with SGA right. yeah. might be considered a conflict of interest, yes. but because I'm in a position where I can hold um, students and organizations and the college accountable in multiple ways, I think that's yes. really been a cool eye into yes. what's going on at Florida Southern and what can happen. Right, absolutely, for sure. Well, this week is homecoming on campus, and we're so excited to have our alumni return. And there's a slew of events from a movie night tonight in the Snake Pit to a spirit night on the green to Founders Day Convo on Friday. So we're hoping to see all of you there as we welcome our alumni home. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So that's all for this week's Southern Spotlight. May the mocks be with you. <laughs>